Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess, where it appears Rutella, Rutella, is ready to reward us as we're led in the distinct direction, I believe, of the graveyard. Alright. I'll bite. What are you going to present me with? You're being very mysterious, my lady. Ah. A grave marked with a very familiar emblem. Well, maybe not so much a grave. Interesting. She wants us to come to her on our hands and knees. Alright, go for a swim. What do you have for us? I am deeply grateful for you to a I'm deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You are right to bring him here. Kakarika Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband and life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. Zora Armor, this special garment was handed down through the Zora royal family. If you have it equipped, you can move freely through the water, but you will be much more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Now at last, I can join the king in slumber. And yet, my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of her people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Well, it's a good thing you found all of your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? That last fused shadow. Remember what Farron the Light Spirit said? He said you would need the fused shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back now with all of the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Lake Hylia. I'm gonna do that in my own time! I have my own plans, I have my own life, you're just my shadow for some reason, or at least you're hiding in my shadow. In fact, now that we're back in Kakariko, I remember hearing about a new type of bomb, and I want it. Also, I think there's a couple of golden bugs we might have missed, and I believe that we might have missed them in Kakariko, so I'm gonna have to look around for those. But first, let's go get the new type of bomb, and then I'll I will I will do some golden bug hunting. We're gonna be doing a lot of side quests at this point. Now that we've opened up a path between Hyrule Castle and Kakariko, we're gonna be doing a lot of side quests. I've been looking forward to this quite a bit. All right, Barnes, I hear that you have bombs. I desire them. Barnes 
bombs. Ah, uh, yes, there is a new type of bomb. However, you can only carry one type of bomb at a time at this point. So to buy the new types of bombs, Hi. we're gonna have to sell the old ones. A very good day to you, sir. Welcome to the incredibly fancy bomb buyback corn counter. Mercy me. What do we have here? It appears you have some bombs. Allow me a moment's peek into that bag. Now bombs, huh? If you're of a mind to sell them, I'll buy 21 bombs for 31 rupees. How does it sound? All right, sure. Splendid. I'll give you 31 rupees for your 21 bombs. Very well then, farewell. All right, so that empties our bomb bag and now we can buy the water bombs. These little fellas are so advanced, you can even use them in the water. Oh, they'll come in handy, guaranteed. You gonna buy some? Alright. Take a good gander at our homemade bombs. Five bombs for 30 rupees. It's a rip-off! 30 rupees for 6, 90 for 15. I'll take 15. We can only hold 15 water bombs in our bomb bag. Alright, with those in hand though, I'm gonna do a little bit of bug hunting. I want the golden bugs. I believe we're after the golden ants, and they should be somewhere in Kakariko. So I will see you when I find them. Alright, in the graveyard, surrounded by uh, crows, at the base of this tree, there is one of the golden insects. You caught the male ant. Bug fans love that golden color. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. All right. If you take down all the crows, you can actually earn some money, but I'm not really interested in that at the moment. So I'm gonna run. I will see you guys when I find the female ant. All right, I believe in here, if my information is right. I can't believe I actually didn't even check Kakariko for golden bugs. These aren't hard to find. There should be... The female ant. Bug fans love that golden color. Check out cut bugs on the collection screen. All right, we have the opportunity, now that we have water bombs, to blow up some underwater boulders. I want to take a look at a few things. I don't think there's anything significant. As far as like, I don't think there's heart pieces, but there may be money. And I would like some money. Money is going to be very, very important. Actually here very soon. So let's... Oh. I guess that's just enough collision I have to climb over. So the first one that I remember there being is there is an underwater boulder in the spirit spring. We might as well show off how the Zora armor and the water bombs work. Hang on a sec. Let's go ahead and get dressed. There we go. I love how each armor has a unique look. Even though there is going to be red, blue, and green armor just like Ocarina of Time, each armor has a very distinct look, and it's actually very cool. Alright, I'm also going to need my boots. We'll put those on, and we will go ahead and equip the water bombs. And just like regular bombs, you can make bomb arrows out of the water bombs. Alright, let's go. Here we are. I actually did not want to throw that, Link. Close enough. And looks like we get 50 rupees. I'll take that. Boots off. Swim all the way up. Swimming is much nicer now. And might as well stand here and finish topping off our health. Okay, let's go to the graveyard. Other than, you know, your vulnerability to fire and ice attacks while wearing this armor, there's really no downside to it. So, if you're in kind of a safe area, you might as well just use it for a bit. You basically swim and act just like you are 
you were wearing uh, Mikhail's mask from um, Majora's Mask. But I want to see what's behind the boulders in the Queen's grave. By the way, once you pick up a bug, I don't know if I mentioned this, it will reappear. None of them are permanently missable. But you're only really going to be rewarded for turning in a bug the first time. After that, it's generally not even worth picking it up again. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have... I'm guessing that's a shortcut back to Zora's Domain. I'm... I can take a look, but I'm gonna look at this boulder first. That would be a hell of a shortcut! Eh, 20 rupees. Not bad. I don't know if it was really worth the bomb, but I'll take it. Alright. Let's just go back to Zora's Domain. And if so, where exactly? And it goes to Lake Hylia, which is kind of close enough. In fact, we can't actually get back to Kakariko from this side because the current's too fast. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do another cut. And I'm going to see you in South Hyrule Field, I think. I still got some more bugs to hunt. I think we can get four more bugs, which is a lot of bugs. So I'll see you there. All right, back in South Hyrule Field, just after we cross the bridge, the wooden bridge, right before we get to the Great Helion Bridge, here is our next bug. And I need to pull out my boomerang for this. Let's see here, lock on. And there we go. You caught a female mantis. Bug fans love that golden color. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. In addition, these are chews. You may notice that this is a purple chew and that is a red chew. Chews are very interesting enemies in this game in that different color chew jellies do different things. Red chew jelly acts like a potion and I need to scoop it before it gets away but I don't have a bottle to scoop. Red chew jelly will act like a red potion. Purple chew jelly will have a variety of different effects that are random on your health. Yellow chew jelly acts like um lamp oil and then there is sparkling chew jelly which is the most rare chew jelly hardest to find and extremely difficult to actually capture. Sparkling Chew Jelly will fill your health and double your attack until you take a hit for at least 14 seconds. So it's basically like uh, Elixir Soup from the Wind Waker. And I believe right here, I see another bug. However, purple Chew Jellies, or purple Chews, are a mixture of any two colors of chew. And purple chews basically waste the value of red, yellow, or uh, sparkling chews. Rare chew jelly. You caught a male mantis. Bug fans love that golden color. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. The thing is, is purple chews will target rare chews sparkling chews before any other chew so if you see a sparkling chew and there's a purple chew in the area or just any other color chew you have to be really quick and there's only a few places that you can get chew, uh, sparkling chew jelly in the wild i'm not sure if they respond they may respond um, if they're caught by a purple chew, but they may not respond if you manage to collect the sparkling chew jelly. I'm gonna have to look more into that. Anyway, uh, we've got at least two more bugs to catch, so I will see you guys in a second. Alright.
right. I think I see a glimmer here in North Hyrule Field. Saw it very briefly. Let's get down and look at... Yeah, there it is. Right there. Actually kind of hard to see. Ah, Boomerang, you're the best. You caught a male stag beetle. Bug fans, love that golden color. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. All right, one more. Oh. Crows. One more bug in this area, and then I think we can head pretty confidently to Hyrule Castle. Or at least Castle Town. So let me look around for it. I'm not, ex not exactly sure where it is. I'll see you in a second. All right, I hear the chimes. There it is. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to describe where I'm at, but basically north. You can kind of see my position on the map. I'll let you get a look at it. You cut the female stag beetle bug fans. Love golden color. Check out cut bugs on the collection screen. So basically when you're in the north mountainous area, stay on the lower path and come to this wide open area. You'll probably get to see it a little bit on the way back. That's where the female stag beetle is. I believe that means we're up to 16? 16? 16 bugs? Yes. So two thirds of all the bugs in the game already. In fact, I know where two more should be, but we're gonna have to go to Hyrule Castle Town. They're actually kind of bugs that I left behind when I when I was going past the Gorons selling spring water. There should be two bugs in the south part of Castletown. And um, I guess I might as well go for them if I'm collecting bugs. More bugs! All the bugs! And then, like, that'll be 18. We'll only have six bugs left to find. And this is really early in the game. So, you know, not bad, me. Not bad at all. All right, how long is it gonna be to... It's gonna be a while if I go the wrong way. I will see you in Kesseltown. All right, we're in the part of Hyrule Field that's directly south of Castletown. And there should be two bugs, both ladybugs, that are in this area. Shouldn't be too hard to find and we gotta wait for daybreak anyway. I can hear one. There it is. We disturbed it. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully nothing bad. I wasn't looking at that screen. You cut a male ladybug. Bug fans love that golden color. Check out cut bugs on the collection screen. Wow. <laughs> Did they change this for the HD remake? I don't remember the ladybug having the Triforce on its shell. That's kind of cool. All right, now I need to find the other one, which should be actually on the other side of the same area. Let's see here. You're always gonna hear it before you really see it. I think I hear a howling stone. Let's see, where is the fume? Oop, there it is. Is it? Or is that just a glitch? I think that was just a glitch. Ladybug, ladybug, where are you, ladybug, ladybug? Ha! Uh, let's see. Oh, now I hear it. Do I see it? Mm 
Maybe it's on the inside? Check the outer walls very carefully. Oop, I did not want to put those on. I thought I saw... There it is. Come here. Flying around. Doesn't want to be caught. How dare. You caught the female ladybug. Bug fans love golden color. Especially the Triforce. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. Kind of cool that they did put the Triforce on the shelf. Okay, I've got to wait a little bit longer for daybreak. So I will see when we finally... I'm probably going to show off what we're actually going to do with all these damn bugs. See you in a second. Oh, is that the bug again? No, that's not. I'm going the other stairs. All right, see you in a minute. All right. Morning has come. Let's head back into Hyrule Castle Town. Now I can finally show you guys what we're going to do with bugs and with some of our money. We're going to need quite a bit of money. In fact, that's why I'm collecting all of the bugs. I think I keep telling you guys we're going to need quite a bit of money. A lot. And I never really explain what we're going to need it for. <laughs> Well, we're about to find out one of the things, but I want to come up here and talk to this guy. Oh, if you would. For the sake of peace and Hyrule, would you please make a donation? I'll give you 50 rupees. May the spirit of love descend upon you. If you continue to pray for peace, someday you will be surrounded with love. All right, I'm gonna donate. I'm gonna donate to you in 50 rupee increments. Blah 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 blah. Let's see, that's 150. You want to donate a thousand rupees to this guy? Only donate in 50 rupee increments. Um, don't donate in 30 rupee increments. It's really not worth that and it helps it's easy to track how much you've given if you donate in 50 rupee increments like i know at this point i'm gonna have donated 350 rupees it kind of reminds me of um a link to the past when you donated money to the wishing well or to the happiness fairy and you and that was the way that you increased your bombs and arrow capacity you're not going to get anything like that here, but you do want to donate a thousand, so that's 350 already. Now, let's go do some bugs. Introduce you to the mistress of bugs. We're never done with bugs. So many bugs. Always bugs. What? What's up with you? You have some business at Agatha's castle? You don't look like you'd be a friend of hers. And you look like you're a stalker, stalker of hers. Agatha's Castle. If you've played Hyrule Warriors, and you never played Twilight Princess before you played Hyrule Warriors, this is where Agatha came from. This is the, her first appearance. Oh. oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. But you're not a bug, you're a person. Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tells me you like bugs too. Oh boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the princess of the bug kingdom, Agatha is my name. I've invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but... I don't know if they got lost on the way or what, but they're not here, that's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them here to Agatha's castle and tell them the princess awaits. Oh boy, if you have a bug with you now, please give it to me. The ball must begin. Have you brought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? Sure. We'll start with the ants. Give this bug? Yes. Oh, oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little old ant. You're a little 
Little ant, aren't you, you little cutie? Little ant, little ant, I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. This <laughs> kills the ant. So... I, to be honest, I doubted you would. I guess some might consider me a poor mannered princess. From now on, if you bring me insects, I'll share my happiness with you. You can keep it in this. The very first bug that you turn in, you get the big wallet. You can now hold up to 1,000 rupees. In the GameCube version, this only held 600 rupees. I wonder if there's a partner for little old ant somewhere close by where you found this one? If any bug becomes part of a pair, I think I'll be able to share great happiness with you. So, usually for a bug, other than the first one and maybe the twelfth one, she gives you 50 rupees. And if it's part of a pair, she gives you 100 rupees after that. Oh, oh, oh boy. Who's your friend? You're a little female ant, aren't you, you little cutie? Little ant, little ant. Grain, cereal, kill the ant, drown it. We have a pair. Don't these little bugs look happy? Allow me to share this happiness with you. You got 100 rupees. 22 bugs left until I have them all. Oh, I hope that you'll keep bringing them here. You will, right? So I'm going to keep turning in these ants, but I think we're going to have to do that in the, or the bugs. And I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode. So I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me a like, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.